Kentucky, the Mountaineers in the NCAA tournament for the sixth time over the last seven years, starting five for West Virginia. Daryl Bryant, Joe Mazzula in the backcourt, interchangeable. Both can handle the basketball. John Flowers got into foul trouble in that victory over Clemson in the first half. He's up front with Kevin Jones and Cam Thurman. And for Kentucky, the freshman. Big part of what John Calipari and the Wildcats bring to the table. Deron Lamb, Brandon Knight, Darius Miller, the junior. He has experience. Josh Harrelson, the senior. And Terrence Jones, the SEC Freshman of the Year. Well, these two guys have known each other a long time. Bob Huggins and John Calipari. Huggins is 8-1 and one in his career head-to-head -head against Coach Cal. This game brought to you at HDTV by LG. Life's good. And our officials here this afternoon from Tampa, Jamie Lucky, Jerry Pollard, and DJ Carstensen. So we're set for action, West Virginia and Kentucky. Let's talk about style of play. First for West Virginia and Bob Huggins. What's the game plan coming in? I think what you're going to see with them is play the straight-up man-to-man defense. I think they're going to try to control the tempo a little bit with the motion offense that they run, try to put the ball on the blocks and take it down there. But in that last year's game, referencing that eye, and they didn't really hit it. an inside shot, believe it or not, for the first half. Now, Kentucky, I think you're going to see a lot of pressure on the guards. You're going to see Kentucky try to go up and down the floor a bit. Spot in the Sweet 16 on the line. West Virginia controls the tip. 19th all-time meeting. Kentucky 13-5 and five against the Mountaineers. Here's Bryant. The jump shot doesn't go. It's short. And it's rebounded by Jones, who led the SEC in that category. Lamb, the pull-up pop. Off the rim, no. And it's going the other way. Harrelson was trying to lunge for the loose ball. And he picks up an early one. And not the one you want to see. Harrelson had a terrific game for John Calipari against Princeton. Really put up nice numbers. He was efficient on the blocks, rebounding, block shots, did it all for them. So there's a guy that they really need to stay away from that second foul, especially early in this first half. Put up his seventh double-double of the season with 15 points and 10 rebounds in that 59-57 last-second win over Princeton. Also throwing four steals, so Harrelson was there when they needed him. Kentucky is riding a seven-game winning streak. Oof. I think that was a travel. They let it go. Thurman and off for Missoula. Now it's Bryant with nine to shoot. First minute of play. West Virginia and Kentucky. Give it up for Flowers. Shot clock is down to four. Tight defense there by Miller. Shot clock down to one. Missoula the heave. No good. And it's rebounded by Harrelson. Now well defended on the perimeter. Dribble drive. Kick out for Lamb. Open look. Short. John Calipari said before the game I and he was going to try to get his guys. There's a trip from behind on Lamb, and he said that he was going to get his guys to try to drive as much as he possibly could. As we're going to take a look from behind there, a little trip with the footwork. And so far, they've taken two outside jump shots. So no score, 18-43 to play in this first half, and DeAndre Liggins will check in, replacing the freshman Duran Lamb. So John Calipari makes an early change. Yeah, and I think the message is those two jump shots that he took, he wants them to be driving to the basket, goes against your early strategy for the first five minutes of this game to establish something down deep. And Missoula called for the travel. So West Virginia turns it over. Bit of a sluggish start here for Bob Huggins' team and John Calipari. Last year, a lead eight, West Virginia, 73 to 66 win over Kentucky to advance to the Final Four, losing to eventual champion Duke. Speaking with Huggins earlier, I and I asked him about that 8-1 differential that he has against Cal. I said, "Why are you so successful against him?" He just said, "Well, it's just luck." <laughs> Brandon Knight. He was 0 of 7 before he hit the game winner the other day in the victory over Princeton. He opens up with a three. Now he's made his last two shots, so he's on a hot streak. Yeah, that's how he plays his game, though. I wouldn't worry too much about that 0 for 7 start that he had against Princeton. Flowers trying to answer. He cannot. And Jones working hard. He was the only black jersey on the inside. And a foul called. Brandon Knight trying to knock it away. Had a game winner against Princeton, but he did not hit the outside shot. And there's a beautiful one right there. And look at the reaction. Not that anybody was concerned, because Calipari said that he played 
couple of bad games this year for him, but the next game he always bounced back very well and played hard and set the tone for his Kentucky teammates. Third team foul against Kentucky. Missoula yeah. off the dribble drive. He gets the bucket. Smart. He's a smart player. He understands that he's been, it seems like he's been around 10 years in the Big yeah, East. He does. <laughs> but he understands when they need a bucket, it's time yeah. to put your head down and go to the hoop. And another three. Knight buries it from the perimeter. And Miz Mazzola got buried behind a screen just then. And when you get lost behind the screen, there's nothing you can do. And nice recognition there by Knight. On the outside with Kentucky leading at 6-2. Here's Mazzola. Gives it up. Truck Bryant, the jumper, goes down. That's a triple. Different team when he shoots the ball well. Nice hands here. Now Miller will get it across. Bryant had 19 points in that 84-76 win over Clemson on Thursday afternoon. West Virginia shot it at 49%. How about the free throw attempt? They had 31 of them. Harrelson, the discard, and he gets the roll. They call him Jorts in Lexington, Kentucky. And what a senior season he's put together. Just improving day by day, and it's, it's terrific. It's a great story in terms of getting himself into top-notch shape, and it's really paid dividends for him. Jones offers it up and buries it a three with a hand in his face. It's always nice. You know, you get the bigs who can step away at 6'8". He has the talent to do that. Hit a big shot for them at the end of the first half of the Clemson game, if you remember, Iowa, which was huge in terms of giving them some momentum going into the half. Harrelson is fouled by Thurlman out on the perimeter. He picks up his first. Bob Huggins is over there talking to Thurman, saying, why are you going to reach out that far on that particular play? Get your body moving, get your feet moving, and don't keep your hands on the, as far as a reach is concerned. Substitution, Calipari sends Harrelson to the bench. He's replaced by Eloy Vargas. The junior transfer from Miami-Dade Community College originally attended the University of Florida. Both teams have made their last three shots. Kentucky and West Virginia tied at eight. And West Virginia with an adjustment out there on the floor. Dennis Kalichla, the sophomore from Istanbul, Turkey, in for the first time. Missoula trying to keep it away from this guy right here, Knight. Knight over Missoula. Vargas offensive rebound stripped of the ball by Truck Bryant and West Virginia looking to run. Kalichka held his ground too. On the crossover, the floater no. Kalichka unable to finish on the inside. And that triggers a break opportunity for Kentucky. Right down the middle, Knight throws it at the rim and he's knocked down a foul. Flowers goes down along with Missoula. And ideally, that's exactly the pace that Kentucky would like to play. Get it off the glass and go. Foul called on Missoula. We've got a timeout. We mentioned Huggins and Calipari go back a long way as we welcome in the third member of our broadcast team, David Aldridge, with the Power Aid Sideline Report. D.A. Well, I, and as you mentioned, Bob Huggins and John Calipari have known each other for more than 30 years. They grew up near one another in West Virginia and Pennsylvania, and their friendship is even linked by Huggins' near-fatal heart attack he suffered in 2002. You may recall that he was head coach at Cincinnati at the time and recruiting in the Pittsburgh area when he began to suffer a very serious heart attack attack in the Pittsburgh airport, near the Pittsburgh airport. An ambulance arrived a few minutes later and EMTs loaded Huggins onto the ambulance. One of the EMTs tried to calm and obviously shaken Huggins as they sped toward the hospital. The EMT then leaned over and said, Coach, I'm John Calipari's cousin. We're not going to let you die until he beats you at least once. Indeed, the EMT's name was Mark Block and he's Calipari's aunt's son. It was Block that informed Calipari that Huggins had suffered a heart attack and Calipari was thus one of the first members outside of Huggins' family to visit him in the hospital. Ian? Well, what are the odds, David? And obviously uh, the two have been very close friends prior to that incident, since that health scare that Bob Huggins went through. I'd like to think you would, you would do the same for me, Jimmy. I think I would. Well, <laughs> at least if I had a third removed cousin, hopefully <laughs> was, they would help you. That was an EMT. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 10-8, Kentucky in front of West Virginia. Fortunately, those both coaches can make light of that story right now with some good humor around it. Here's Kalichla on a kick out for Flowers. Two-man game, Kalichla working on Vargas. Watch for that hook. 
It's the fadeaway. Oh. Smooth delivery. Dennis Kalichla. He's got a jump hook on with both hands. Look at Knight driving to the basket. Good hands there by Mazzola. But it comes off of Knight out of bounds. Knight's been very aggressive so far. And turnover, Kentucky. Here's the one you don't think of. He's going to flip and rotate away. Look at that spacing that he gives himself. That big room, about three feet, goes body to body. And then that step away allows you not only to get your shot off, but more comfortably because of the spacing. We are tied at 10. West Virginia team has reached the Sweet 16 in five of its last six NCAA tournament appearances. They've been a very consistent program. Here's Kalichla. Double team comes. Looking for the open man, Missoula. The breakdown. Ah, watch out. Oh, he got hit hard Woo. by Vargas. Boy, and not only hard, Ian, but when he was in the air, he got hit. And a lot of times, you lose control and take a listen. Wow. That's a double effect right there. It's the top part, body to body, and then body against floor. And floor, the wood gives a touch, but not that much. First lead for West Virginia as Harrelson will check back in, replacing Vargas. And second free throw coming for Joe Mazzula. Fifth-year senior, or as you called him, tenth-year senior earlier <laughs> from Johnston, Rhode Island. As a compliment. As a compliment. No, he's just one of those guys. Sometimes in college basketball, there are certain guys that feel like they've yeah. been a part of the program forever. And Mazzula attending graduate school. Out of bounds, Kentucky retains it, 14-28 mark of this first half. Well, he also has 105 career wins, Missoula. So he's been not only here, but very, very effective and helpful to his team's victories. That's too shy of a school record mm -hmm. set last year by Deshaun Butler, one of the great players in West Virginia basketball history and a clutch performer. That's the one thing they're missing from this year's West Virginia team. Bob Huggins saying, look, we had a guy that could do it himself. We don't have that this year. Wow. Knight with a floater high off the window, and he has looked like a different player than the one we saw the other day in the victory over Princeton. One thing to knock a shot down like that, but also the way he avoided running over a defender and just glancing away from him so it would not be called back in terms of a charge and running into a guy from an offensive standpoint. He has scored 10 of Kentucky's 12 points. The curl and rejected by Jones. Bryant couldn't get it off cleanly. West Virginia retains it. Missoula, three, and a long rebound to Truck Bryant. One of the things John Calcari was concerned about, West Virginia shooting shots and then just go track the offensive glass. Jones works it around the perimeter. Flowers looks to the inside. Kalichla gets a touch. Turn around. No good. And rebound by Liggins for Kentucky. Up the floor in a hurry. Darius Miller. Oh, beautiful speed. And Harrison with the flush. Once again, that up-tempo, really the trigger point for Kentucky. How do you slow him down? Well, you make sure you have balance when a shot goes up. The guards have to do a better job of finding the run out and the transition guys. Kentucky SEC tournament champions. They beat Florida in the title game. Back-to-back -back titles. 27th all-time SEC title. Kalichla had it wrestled away. Jones loops it ahead. And Knight, big finish. The acceleration from the freshman. The game winner against Princeton really has triggered him with the carryover effect. A guy, a young player who was 0 for 7 before that shot, has now really taken it upon himself. And Calipari was right. After a bad shooting day, he comes back very, very strongly. And a foul on Jones as he was trying to defend near the free throw line. See him avoid the, uh, the defender, defender right there. And then look at them out on the break. This is where they're very, very good in terms of the big guys even getting down the floor. And here's the quick steal. Rip it out of there, get it tonight, and see what happens. Well, some good things are going to happen once again on the break. Beautifully done by Kentucky. Missoula gets it in for Bryant. 12 and a half to go in this first half. And Kentucky leads it 16 to 12. It's a 6-0 run for the Wildcats. Bryant, the penetration, and he lays it in. If you have good movement away from the ball, which they did on the left side of the floor with the screens, West Virginia will send a lot of screens. They'll cut off the screens. If they get that kind of movement, guys like Bryant can drive to the basket and make things happen. And Bryant has a scorer's mentality when he gets it going. 
The average is just over 11 per game. Foul called on Flowers. Get complete NCAA tournament coverage. Chat live with experts. Get the latest news and video highlights from every game at CBSSports.com. Kentucky 16, West Virginia 14. Think about the point guards that John Calipari has had in recent years with Derrick Rose and Tyreek Evans, John Wall. Lamb getting involved. He gets the bucket and the foul. So he comes off the bench after getting sent to the bench early in this game. He'll have an opportunity for a three-point play when we come back. Mitchell called on the personal for West Virginia. Timeout. Kentucky with a four-point lead over West Virginia All-SEC first team member Brandon Knight has done the lion's share of the scoring so far for Kentucky. 33 of 35 games he's scored in double figures this season. It didn't take him long to get there early on. The jump shot looking good, the breakaway transition. When he's got it going early like this, Kentucky is very tough to slow down. And look at the difference between the second round and so far today, Knight with 12 points. Terrence Jones is yet to be a factor on the offensive end for Kentucky, and Deron Lamb found himself on the bench early on. He just got his first bucket, a chance to convert a three-point play. Knight's high this year was 26 points in a loss at Arkansas. You know, we mentioned that Princeton game, 59-57 win over the Tigers in the second round. That was the first time all year that Kentucky did not crack 60 points in a game. Exactly, and you know, with, with Kentucky, that's why Coach Calipari wanted to take the first five minutes of this game and really drive it as you take a look at that 9-2 run. Drive it the first five minutes of the game, and now they're starting to do that a little bit better in the second five minutes of this first half. And Kentucky now in front by five. Just over eight minutes gone by first half. Flowers, tough shot off balance, and it goes down. Sure was. I didn't think that had a chance. And, and then the, the spin that he had on the ball with the backspin caught the back of the rim from the baseline and got it to really just flat out die on that rim. So he got it to drop. High energy, small forward gets into the scoring column. And now we finally take a look at a little matchup zone right now. Kentucky has made its last four shots. Like switching out front. That means Thurman is on Knight. Knight turns the corner at Thurman. Able to get there defensively. Missoula running. Good floor balance by Kentucky to get back. Missoula looks to the inside. Flowers with Harrelson. Just under 11 minutes to play now. First half. It's a three-point game. Screens are important. Bryant attacking the bucket. And knocked outside. Off to the races. Got to stop it. Knight shifting gears for the pull-up. Book it up. Boy, does he, he just understands how to play the game. Thurman had him basically in a pretty good position. He was in front of him, trying to stop him with the speed coming down the floor. And then you see Knight pull up right at the free throw line and had a little bit of a drift to his shot because he was going so quickly. Knight with 14 points. And a whistle stops play away from the ball as Missoula made a cut towards the inside. These are one of those, this is one of those plays where you're hoping that your teammates get back in a hurry to help you out. You see a guard who is as quick as he is, can do so much on the break, and then pulls up for the easy 15-footer. Second foul called against freshman DeRon Lamb, so DeAndre Liggins returns. And now Casey Mitchell comes on for West Virginia. Team foul, six of them against Kentucky, four called against West Virginia. And West Virginia needs Mitchell to knock a jump shot down or two. Mitchell gives it up. Missoula on the inside. That's a double dribble possibly, wasn't it? In three seconds, yep. Both things, they could have gone with either one right there. And it's a turnover for West Virginia, the third so far in this first half. You know, it's interesting when you, you think about Bob Huggins. Now he has got to figure out, that's why he's switching defenses a little bit right now. And Mitchell is going to try to stay with Knight as much as he can. 21-16, Kentucky with a chance to extend the lead. Yeah, they're not playing man-to-man, -man, though. It's a matchup because every time somebody vacates, another guy picks him up. Miller lost it. Thurman takes it away. That's why Thurman's on the floor a lot for West Virginia. He just makes good, solid plays. Jones pump fake on a three for two. No, and it's rebounded by Liggins. Lead feed for Knight. He was probing there on a kick out. And foul called. Flowers reacts. And that's number two on John Flowers. 
Well, watch this foul now. He puts his hand out, and then it, you can move as an offensive player. You have the right of way to make your move right there. You can't put the hand in somebody's out that far because if he comes across and you get him in the face like he did, they're going to call that all day long. So now Flowers is on the bench for West Virginia, just like the last round in the yeah, win over Clemson. Exactly, exactly like that. Two fouls on Flowers. Knight, lob, Harrelson the catch inside, and lays it up in traffic. A guy who didn't really play many minutes last year, as he really put it together in terms of understanding what his strengths are. He understands what his role is on this team, and somehow just manages to get it done. You say not many. He played 85 minutes right. last season. Total. Is that one game? <laughs> Mitchell missed it. Rebound. Jones extending out for it. And he will back it out for West Virginia. It's a 23-16 lead for the Wildcats. Missoula lines it up and knocks it down. It's a three. Need the guards to hit their shots. And Mitchell for West Virginia. Bryant, Missoula, and also Mitchell are very important to open things up for the drive. Joe Missoula played very well last year against Kentucky. They got the win in the Elite Eight at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. Remember, that was a game where Kentucky could not buy a shot. They were all of their first 20 from three-point territory. Open look, and Liggins missed it badly from the outside. Kentucky up by four. We come up on eight minutes to go in this first half. Missoula stop and go. Pepper in the game at short for three. Dalton Pepper made the key defensive plays down the stretch to seal the win against Clemson. Stumbling, Knight knocked away, and it's Pepper who comes up with a loose ball. Allen's pretty good, though, again, defensively for Kentucky. Mitchell flicks it out. Pepper open low. Well, Jones with the reach in. So Miller went up high to get it. And Jones is going to pick up his first personal foul. We step aside with 7.47 to play. First half, Kentucky leading West Virginia by four. We're back to Tampa in a moment. Look at the game summary with Kentucky in front, 23 to 19. Wildcats shooting at nine of 15 from the field. West Virginia opens up three of eight from three-point territory. Brandon Knight with a big first half so far. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco rejoining you here in Tampa. Tempo, that was a big buzzword heading into this game. Who has controlled the tempo so far? So far, I think Kentucky has. Number one is they've done a good job on the glass, so that's helped them out. They've been able to get a steal or two here and push the transition game down. So, and especially if you get Knight involved, when you have Knight scoring as he is with his 14 points and basically going after it in a tempo type of way for him. So a terrific offensive start for Knight. And that's why Bob Huggins is switching the defenses a little bit. You'll notice out front, whenever there's an exchange by Kentucky, West Virginia on the perimeter will switch the screen. Someone who has not been involved is the other freshman, Terrence Jones, trying to get involved right here. Good defense by Kevin Jones, no relation. Shot clock down to 14, using a screen from Liggins. Pick and pop, Liggins the jumper. He hits the three. Good decision by Jones, too. Trying to, you're absolutely right, I think. Kentucky tried to get him on the blocks a little bit to get him some action, get him his first shot of the game, but then he was smart enough and patient enough to pass the basketball out to an open teammate. Let's see if Mitchell can get going for West Virginia. Outside, Thurman, seven minutes to play in this first half. Mitchell, that's a three, short, and rebounded by Lamb. Liggins picked up by Missoula, cross court. Miller's got range. And Jones able to clean the glass. Now West Virginia has been successful trying to drive it to the basket. And Missoula. He's tricky, isn't he? He draws the foul on Lamb. I think the initial thought process was to pass it, but once he realized there was contact, throw it towards the rim. Let's take a look at the patience down on the blocks. Here's where Jones is going to position himself. He's going to try to body himself up and then watch the little bit of a drift to the corner here. Gets the ball. Nothing happening so far, and then your teammate has to recognize that a little bit of a bounce-back maneuver right there, and Liggins has a wide-open shot because West Virginia's trying to double-team on the blocks. And the third personal foul against Deron Lamb, which just never really got into the flow of this game. He was benched about a minute and a half in, replaced by DeAndre Liggins, and... Lamb is going to be on that bench yep. for the final 635 of this first half. Played 34 minutes against Princeton with seven points, so 
Kentucky is not a deep team. That's one of the things that may play out in this game as we drift into the second half. Missoula is the high man for West Virginia with nine points. Kentucky leads it by five. Knight being defended by Pepper. Shot clock at 10. That's a three. We got it by Thurman, in the fifth year senior for the Mountaineers. Harrelson has a mismatch down deep, too, if they want to go to it. Lazula on a crossover and slips in for the deuce. There's that point about the guards, Ian. You know, with Lazula, the key thing with him is he's a lefty. You know he's going to go left most of the time. That's what his power move is to the basket. But where is everybody? This is why Kentucky called the timeout. Nobody home. Joe Mazzulla had 17 points in that Elite Eight victory over Kentucky. Last year's NCAA tournament, he's got 11 so far today to lead the Mountaineers, 26 to 23. Keep in mind, Kentucky with six fast break points, they had only two mm -hmm. in the win over Princeton the other day. Missoula played well against Clemson also with seven assists to go with his 12 points. So a guy you can depend on. Brandon Knight. Liggins Good lost hands. the ball. Yep. Missoula with a steal. Yeah, and Mitchell came in too. Double team throughout the middle of the floor. Just a nice work by Mitchell to help out. Fourth Kentucky turnover. That came out of the timeout with five and a half to go in this first half. Thurlman, the lob, back to her. And Missoula with a finish. Tricky. Nice call from that was called from the sidelines with Bob, Bob Huggins. Terrific set. So many times the point guard can release the basketball. And you forget about him defensively because he's gone weak side. Ball goes to the power side, and there's nobody at home again. Knight rims out on a three, and Vargas will get called for the foul. He was battling inside with Thurman. West Virginia the best at defending the three in the Big East. And you take a look. Watch here. All of a sudden, you're going to have a little, just a real slight drift cut, and he's going to go this way. Watch it. It's not much of a cut. You get a little bit of a bump, and then out front, and it's just not a play you think you're going to run for a guard. More times than not, the lob, what do we think of? The big guy goes up and dunks the basketball, but a nice offset just then. Good work by West Virginia. Joe Mazzula is on a personal 6-0 run right now for West Virginia. And Thurman, it comes off the rim. It's rebounded by Jones for Kentucky. West Virginia had a chance to tie and take the lead with a couple of makes. You know, I, I mentioned that in the Big East play, defensively, West Virginia was the best in the league at defending the three. And guess who's the best in the SEC is shooting the three? Kentucky. So it'll be interesting if they rely on that. That's why I think against this zone, you may want to put the ball on the floor and go by some people. Liggins, good find, and it's Vargas. The throw down. Good smarts by Liggins. If you're going to sit out there and just be baited into shooting threes, Bob Huggins will take those percentages all afternoon, I believe. Good, smart, solid basketball play just then to break somebody down off the dribble because you're going to force a two-on-one down deep. High screen set by Thurman. Missoula gives up his dribble inside. It's Jones. The flip is good. And the foul. Jones on Jones down deep, Ian. And how about the work? That West Virginia's Jones, Kevin Jones, did against Terrence Jones down in the block. It's all about positioning yourself beforehand. He sets himself up, and then he gets the bump, and he still delivers it. Watch the work beforehand. He didn't have the ball yet, not yet. Bang, then he gets it, and now you can go to work because you've established yourself. All the hard work starts before you catch the basketball. Kevin Jones, 60% shooter this season at the line. 17 points, 9 rebounds, and the win over Clemson on Thursday afternoon and West Virginia has tied this one up uh, in a little wet spot. I know you like to do most things out here when we're here doing a ball game, Ian, but you can sit here with me. You don't have to get out and get the towels out. Uh, I believe I, I just got spinarkled. <laughs> <laughs> You're crushing me. Sorry. Tied at 28 <laughs> Kentucky and West Virginia. I'm a team player. I know. Now to 4.15 to play in this first half. Fastest guy in the court, too, figured that out. Knight, he was the one who found the wet spot. Vargas way outside. Matched up with Bryant back on the floor. Yeah, the matchup is key. That word matchup is helpful for West Virginia. Nice work in the double team. Good. And Missoula with a steal. Missoula streaks in for the bucket. The best part of that play for me was not so much that he stole it, but how he stole it in terms of anticipating. And you may have noticed just a little bit of a flick 
touch it, kick it out in the direction. It's almost like an extra pass, but it's a very legal play. Terrific heads-up play by Missoula. And an 11-2 Mountaineer run. Missoula has 15 to lead all scores. Kick out. Liggins traveled out front. Now this defense, nice call by Bob Huggins, switching things up with the zone. As John Calipari and company confused a little bit. Watch this little flick. Flick, then you go after it. Watch for the big guy and just go right in and finish it off. Heady play. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Louisville head coach Rick Patino joins the New York studio crew. Special guest, you'll get the latest tournament news and a Naismith watch presented by AT&T. That's coming up. AT&T at the half. Joe Missoula, guy that Bob Huggins can rely on for a lot of different things. The drives to the baskets, the jump shots, the heady play. His teammates rely on him, and here was my favorite so far this afternoon. The little flick and go. Terrific work. Very sharp leader on the basketball floor. And his family in town here in Tampa, his dad, Dan Missoula. Joe was a high school state champion in the 400 meters at Bishop Hendrickson. Johnston, Rhode Island, showed a little bit of speed there to make sure he had the angle on the steal and the bucket. That has that little guy in his lap, a little distraction maybe throughout the course of the afternoon. 30 to 28, West Virginia. Jones gets it outside for Bryant. Zone look for Kentucky. Jones shoots over it. And it's rebounded by Liggins. Good switch up there and coaching by Coach Cal with a 2-3 look. The curl, Miller. Now it's Knight. Let's see if Kentucky can try to put the ball on the floor and go by people. There you go. Jones yet to score and ring up his first two of the day. And two times in the last four possessions, they've tried to put the ball on the floor and they've had good results. I, I wouldn't be shocked if they don't try to continue to do just what John Calipari hoped they were able to do as he sits back in this 2-3 zone. And Bob Huggins thought before this game that he was going to see this 2-3 zone. So here it is. Let's see how he reacts to it. Watch for the middle of the floor. Good place to attack. Fifth tie of this first half. And just like the other end, don't be afraid to dribble by somebody on the perimeter and make something happen. Very stagnant, this possession. Five on the timer. Bryant gets the shot off and hits the three. You want your guards to understand where the other guy is on the floor at all times. It's like they're tied to a string. One goes, the other comes with them. Those two guys have been doing it a long time, and Bryant... Two for two from long range. That is so big if they can get him confident, which he looks like he is this afternoon. 23 combined in the backcourt for West Virginia. Missoula and Bryant. The spin move by Knight. And the floater goes down for Brandon Knight. Three successful trips off the bounce for Kentucky. 16 for Knight. 33-32. Mountaineers were down to a minute 35 to play in this first half. To Litchla, kick out for Pepper. Here's Missoula putting it on the floor. Nope, close to a travel. To Litchla, wave it off with an offensive foul. Thought wasn't bad, but you telegraph a dribble as much as you telegraph a pass sometimes. First, they brought you real Coke taste and zero calories. Now they're bringing you the most impressive NCAA experience known to fans. Get in the game at CokeZeroSocialArena.com. Now for Kentucky, Darius Miller, who has really come on strong the last three weeks, he is yet to score and has only attempted one shot. The lob. Catch was made by Harrelson. Foul was called before the release. Pepper was caught down there defensively for West Virginia. Missoula as well. And Missoula is called on his second foul as we check in with David Aldridge. We just saw Josh Harrelson there, Ian. His improved physique is a major reason why the Wildcats are still playing. As you mentioned, he only played 88 minutes last season as a junior because he couldn't get up and down the court more than three times without slowing down. It was assistant coach Kenny Payne that really worked with him this summer. When they began work, he could not run more than 45 seconds, sprint more than 45 seconds before having to stop. Now Harrelson can go three minutes without stopping, and the results are clear. His improvement from 1.2 rebounds last year to 8.8 .8 rebounds this year is the largest in the nation. Ryan? 
All right, D.A., thank you. Missoula getting stretched out. And just to add to that for Harrelson, John Calipari has told his bench players, if you want an example to use right. as you continue your Kentucky career trying to work into the rotation, that's your example, Josh Harrelson. Yep. That's the same program you and I are going to use this offseason. Well, I think David's <laughs> going to have to go over it again. I, I didn't write it down. <laughs> down to 50 seconds left in this first half. Tied at 33. Bryant. Oh, oh he gets the bounce. That's a three. Truck Bryant heating up. He's got 11. Three of three from long range. 36-33, West Virginia. Five-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. We're winding down in the first half. Harrelson hands off. Knight with 16 points. The turnaround. Short. And rebounded by Thurlman. And a touch foul. Oh, and they got Harrelson from behind, I believe. Didn't they? With a little bump. It was an inadvertent bump because Harrelson was just trying to turn and go down the floor. He picks up his second, so he's got to exit because you can't fool around with extra fouls right now with this much time on the clock. But watch from behind. He knows the basketballs. He's put his arms up. Not much of a foul, though, either, huh? That looked more like a play on. Yeah, I thought so, too. And it's the double bonus now for West Virginia. The positive for Kentucky. Thurman shoots it at 60%. But he knocks down the first with 19.9 remaining. Let's check in with David once again. Well, guys, uh, Joe Mazzulla over here at the near the sideline, he's just cramped up a little bit. They're stretching him out, and they anticipate that he will be back, if not now, in the second half. Yeah, there, there were a couple of stretches in that first half where it looked like he was wondering. Thurman follows his own miss. <laughs> and what a smile. <laughs> He's fun to watch the way he plays. They don't rely on him for a whole lot of scoring, but boy, he's hard to take off the floor sometimes. The right? lob to the wrong team. Ball squirts out. Get on it. Gets Who's going to get it? Oh. Man, that call might have been before the buzzer sounded, too. I think so. Yep. Hood has got it hands on it. It's a sense type of call, and my sense was that the foul call happened before the clock disappeared. Let's see what happens. which would mean that there's a, sh a shooting mm -hmm. for West Virginia. Let's see what happens now. Watch the official down below. Now they may have gotten Mitchell on the little yeah, push. Yeah, look at the official down below, though. Now, I don't, let's, I, I'm watching the clock and the official, so there's a call before that clock expired. It was bang, bang. Yep. But the call was clearly before triple zero. Watch down here, too. Watch the official right here, too. Watch his arm. He's watching the play. There's a lot of contact both ways. Arms up in the air. That means the whistle is blowing. Obviously, two-tenths of a second or thereabouts on the clock. Yeah, it was Jamie Lucky, but they call the foul on Kentucky. Yeah. Hood. Listen. They put four tenths of a yeah. second on the clock. Now the question, who was the foul on? Now you want everything. <laughs> John Hood was the one that got called for it. I think the Kentucky contingent here felt that it was Mitchell who had the shove as Hood hit the deck. How about just getting to the line, though, and getting a pair with that little time on the clock? Boy, that is a huge bonus. A 22-7 extended run for West Virginia. They hit the break with a 41-33 lead over the number four seed in the East, Kentucky. And you realize, too, as you do, against Clemson, what did West Virginia do against Clemson? The last three minutes of the first half, they got some rhythm going. They came out in the second half and did the same thing. Nice rotation in the second half. Let's send it over to David. Coach, last year the zone was effective against Kentucky. This year the zone again against effective against Kentucky. Why, is you, why are you having so much success with it against them? Well, they've missed some shots, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, you may want to ask Cal that whenever he comes out. I'm not, I don't know why. I plan to. Uh, Missoula, real leadership from him again. 
what does he give you as a leader, as a senior, that really helps your helps your team in this in these types of tournament games? He loves to compete. He loves to compete, and he gives us great toughness. You know, he's not the most skilled guy, but he's got great toughness. He loves to compete. He loves he loves playing in these kind of games. Coach, thanks very much. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right. Back to you, Ian. All right, T.A. Missoula and Bryant combined for 26 points. West Virginia with a 41 to 33 lead over Kentucky. End of the first half here in Tampa. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. Just about set for second half action here in Tampa. 41-33 West Virginia. Moments ago, David Aldridge caught up with John Calipari. Coach, you shoot 56% in the first half and you're down eight. How do you slow down Missoula and Bryant? Well, you know what? Missoula's going to go left. And I mean... He shot three layups left it. <laughs> and that's what happens when you got freshmen out there. Um, he ball fakes our freshman, gets him a third foul. He, he's not shooting any jumpers. Why would you even jump? But that's what happens with young kids. We've got to play a little bit better against what they're doing, switching and, and try some different things. And uh, again, no, we don't block out on a free throw. We lose two or three balls on drives where they grab them out of our arms. Where they grab an arm or not, it doesn't matter. They got the ball. And then that last play was kind of shaky. But you know what? Um, a lot of basketball to play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. All right, David, thank you. Let's take a look behind the stats presented by LG. Missoula goes for 15. Bryant with 11. They end the half on a 22-7 run. And Brandon Knight, the high man for Kentucky, with 16 points. This game is brought to you in HD TV by LG. Life's good. 15-point swing over the last seven minutes of that first half. Kentucky was in front 26-19, and they get it to Brandon Knight to start things off in this second half. I think John Calipari was correct with his comments with David Aldridge just then, but the question I would say to myself is, how do I get these freshmen to forget about the moment and start playing basketball like they're capable of? And I think you better up-tempo the defense, start making some switches, be more aggressive so they forget about the moment and play the game. Bryant missed it for three, rebounded by Liggins. That means Lamb is on the bench to open up the second half. Same thing could be said about offensively. Go get it. Knight missing on the floater. Rebounded by Jones. Yeah, Missoula is here. It's Flowers driving to the hoop. He missed it. Liggins played a role defensively. He sure did, because that was a four-on-two break. Jones goes cross-court. Miller yet to hit a shot. Short and long rebound. Picked up by Daryl Bryant for West Virginia. How long can Miller and Jones go without really scoring two points between the two of them without Kentucky really making a run? I know Knight can score. He has 18 right now, but he's being equalized by the backcourt of West Virginia. Thurman gives it up. Missoula defended by Liggins. Just over a minute gone by in this second half. Bryant, oh, he runs into Knight. And a foul. It's going the other way. There wasn't enough room there at all with Miller standing on his left also. So the veteran against the freshman, Missoula, 15 points, four assists, and Brandon Knight put on two more here in the second half to give him 18 overall as Bryant just picked up his first personal foul for the Mountaineers. And as part of that comparison, too, we can add Bryant's 11 points at the half as the backcourt of West Virginia really doing a nice job in terms of their effort. And we talk about all the talent Kentucky lost from last year's team. Knight's pass almost intercepted by Missoula. The Mountaineers lost three of their top five scorers mm -hmm. from last year's squad. Deshaun Butler, Devin Ebanks, Wellington Smith, and Bob Huggins' team. It was an uneven season, but here they are with a chance to go to the Sweet 16. Lob, Harrison lays it in, and a foul. Good set up by Knight. As he went upstairs, Harrelson goes to the free throw line. And interesting enough, they're getting the two guys involved. Here we go over the side right here. With Harrelson going upstairs. He played well in the first half, and so did Knight with the terrific de delivery right here. So those two guys are the two who are starting to get involved to begin the game again as they did in the first half for Kentucky. Second personal on Cam Thurlman. And Harrelson to the line. Short. West Virginia 41, Kentucky 37. 
The reason I said before getting Kentucky to up tempo up on the defensive end and pick up their energy level is that West Virginia is happy with really running their motion and really working the clock as much as they can. And Missoula stripped of the ball. Miller came away with it, and a foul called. It was Darius Miller on the screen. His first. His first, first SEC foul. tournament MVP. John Calipari told Miller before the season that he thought he could be the best player in the SEC. He said Miller didn't believe him the last three weeks he's played like it. Bryant the drive and the denial by Harrelson. Uh, he thought he was going to get a body bump, but Harrelson said, I'll take the hit, and then I'm going to hit that ball right down to the floor. Terrific defensive effort. Knight fires and hits the three. They're streaky. Now all of a sudden, let's see how West Virginia responds. West Virginia against Clemson. First half, they had a nice run. They came out in the second half and put up a nice second back-to-back -back run carry over into the second half. Right now, Kentucky has really answered the bell after West Virginia put it to them in the first half. Turnover, West Virginia. It's a 7-0 run to start this second half for John Calipari and the Wildcats. If you're a guard, you're thinking, I have to get some body on the way to the basket. He gets a little body, but how about the extension by Harrelson with the big reach? And then they use their defense to go to the other end. The tournament summary, Big East teams are 7-4. North Carolina, offensive explosion. Florida State getting a win. And how about Bob Wiggins, Kentucky superfan, his 1,500th and third game. There he is, 83 years old, his first game, 1944, Kentucky against Illinois, as he recalled the Wiz Kids. If you want to break it down, Jimmy, I, I know you like numbers. That's 43 seasons, 35 games a season, and... I think he saw some Pat Riley Kentucky yeah, games. Pretty good player in his own right right there, Pat Riley. 7-0 run for Kentucky, now trailing by one. Wildcats are shooting 57% from the field. West Virginia is at 44%. Knight swings it. Jones gets an open look. Air ball. Harrelson tracks it down and puts it in. Harrelson doing the dirty work for Kentucky on the interior. Guess who the leading offensive rebounder has been in the SEC this year with almost four per game? Harrelson, and they just can't move him out. He's just like parks himself down deep, but it's more than just parking himself. It's the ability to track the basketball and understand where the angles are with the misses. He's five of five from the field. Kalichlo, the catch, Got stripped it. away. Watch the elbows. Kick it out for Missoula. West Virginia trying to regain its footing here. They trail 42 to 41. Missoula gets a screen from Flowers. Shot clock is down to three. Missoula short on the jumper, rebounded by Harrelson. Good job by Liggins defensively just then staying with him and jumping towards the left-handed shooter. And the talent of Brandon Knight has been on display from the very start. Explosive, speedy, creative freshman from Fort Lauderdale. Kentucky looked like they were in a fog for the last four minutes of the first half. The fog has lifted a bit here in the second, that's for sure. Here's Knight. Screen set by Jones. Three on the way. No good. And Jones was in the right spot for the offensive rebound. Liggins, pump fake. And he's fouled out front by Flowers. And that's going to be number three on John Flowers. And Bob Wiggins. Looks like he might be keeping score. <laughs> Tack another one to the list. We'll come back. More action from Tampa. In a moment. You can support disaster relief efforts to help those affected by the Japan earthquake and Pacific tsunami. Text Red Cross to 90999 to give $10. CBS Cares. Third run action, East Region here in Tampa, West Virginia and Kentucky. Great first half by the Mountaineers, but all of a sudden things have changed. And it's really nice when the entertainment community backs March Madness. Actor and comedian Zach Galifianakis is here. <laughs> the mascot for West Virginia today. Hollywood cares about the big dance. All correspondence to Iron Eagle on that one. Jones, a three. No good. 
Hangover 2 is coming up. Very <laughs> soon, Jimmy. <laughs> Very good movie. 42-41, Kentucky in front. <laughs> High screen. Missoula on a dump down. Jones, little floater doesn't go. Offensive oh, rebound. Go. Keep going up with it. Jones comes up short, sticks with it. White jersey surrounding him. And a tie-up. Possession arrow to West Virginia. You can't question the effort down deep, huh? Look at this. All these guys going after the basketball. It's just not one guy, three guys at a time jumping. A little squeeze out there. West Virginia with the entry pass underneath. Eight offensive rebounds for the Mountaineers. Trying to regain the lead here. Pepper in the game for West Virginia. Thurman out front. Ryan and Missoula in the backcourt. Missoula, 15 points in the first half. Thurman not looking to shoot, so they really can stay way off him, and that allows Harrelson to clog the middle. Corner pop, no. Rebounded by Jones for Kentucky. Pretty and good effort. Down deep, though, Ian, in terms of defensive transition just then. The scoring drought continues for West Virginia. It's 9-0 Kentucky. In this second half, 14-20 to play. Harrelson rolling to the rim. He fakes out Thurman. Josh Harrelson. 13 points on 6 of 6 from the field. And he's now 13 of 14 in both games here in Tampa. He likes Tampa. Well, I would say so. Get a little property down here. Here's Missoula. Shot clock is down to 12. The curl. Lazula stepped through and creative. <laughs> I looked over at John Calabari. If you remember at halftime, David Aldridge spoke with him and talked to him about how you're going to stop Missoula. And Cal looked at him and said, he's lefty. He went left three times for layups. He just did it again, basically, going to the left. It took them six minutes and 14 seconds to score in this second half. Miller, a little fend off on Missoula to get him for an offensive foul. That's Jim. number two on the junior from Maysville, Kentucky. Just enough of an extension just then. And you take a look at pick and rolls, how they work. Right over here, the big guy's going to drift. It's a timing play, and he is so strong with his finishes. They want to see him go after that again, and here's Mr. Lefty doing it again. Force him right. <laughs> That's why guys are good at what they do. They understand how to get to their strength. 44-43, Kentucky. Just about seven minutes gone by in the second half. Missoula, a little misdirection there, looking for an open man. Somebody's got to help him. Oh, travel. Yep. Bob, Turnover, West Virginia. Bob Huggins is right there in front. That play occurred, and he's looking at it and saying, where did my guys go? Nobody really, everybody kind of vacated. When a guy gets in trouble, he picks up his dribble. You have to make sure that you can run to a spot where he can see you. Not real effective that time, but this zone defense that was effective in the first half for West Virginia looks like they're going to try to go back to the matchup right now. Yep, they see the first, first indicator is when you start pointing. Knight the floater. Rebounded by Jones, takes it strong. And a help by West Virginia's Jones, but a foul call. Thurlman was trying to hold his ground on the inside yeah. for the Mountaineers. The block was a good one up high. And Thurman down deep picks up his third because of the body down deep. So it sends Terrence Jones to the free throw line, a 66% shooter. And a cousin of former Arizona star Damon Stoudemire. As Jones gets the first from Portland, Oregon, Jefferson High School. He's a hybrid four man because he used to be a guard in high school and then kept growing at six foot eight, 244 pounds. And Kentucky with a 46-43 lead over West Virginia. Jones, not many touches at all. One for three from the floor with only four points. Has done a good job on the glass with six. And Miller is 0 of 2. Whoa, you can't put your arm up like that. Jones cutting the cutter. Uh, 
blocking the cutter with his right arm coming above. And that's going to be number three on Kentucky's Terrence Jones. Continuous coverage of the Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues tomorrow, noon Eastern, on ESPN2 and ESPN3.com. For more information on game times and matchups, go to NCAA.com. Deron Lamb is in for the first time in this second half. Foul trouble in the first half. Calipari just didn't like what Lamb was doing out there. He settled for two jump shots early. Kalichla, oh, count it. I love it. I love the shot. The Turkish torpedo. <laughs> Huggins even called it the Turkish toss. <laughs> I took some liberties. <laughs> it, does, it looks like he's just not paying attention, but he does shoot it. Now he's involved in the defensive class. He can shoot that both hands, though, keep in mind. Miller can't find his touch. West Virginia with a chance to regain the lead. Missoula. He'll back it out, defended by Lamb. Down to 11.45 to play in this second half. Jones way outside. Kentucky up by one. Mitchell makes his move. Puts it upstairs. They turn it over. Another travel against West Virginia. Eighth turnover for Bob Huggins' squad. Dennis Kalichla from Istanbul. He can shoot this from any angle. Incoming. Third row. Kentucky holding on to a one-point lead over West Virginia. Every tournament game is live online on your iPhone or iPad with NCAA March Madness on demand. For details, go to mmod.ncaa.com. How about the play of Josh Harrelson, the Kentucky big man, has been a difference maker. He sure has been. He only scores at an average of seven points a game on the season, but he has really stepped up first against Princeton and now against West Virginia. Very effective on the blocks. He has had some decent scoring games of 16 and 23 this year and we take a look at his dad yeah I see the resemblance yep Doug Harrelson I see it in the shoulders also <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Good point. laughs> Josh from St. Charles Missouri transferred from Southwest Illinois College and has really found a nice niche on this Kentucky squad in his senior year after the timeout Liggins has it on the outside. Mitchell there defensively. Now Knight comes to the ball. See so guys pointing on defense to help one another out. Knight, the drive. He lost yeah. his footing. Yeah, it was a reach in just as he began to lose his footing. It'll be the second personal on Mitchell. Well, we'll take a look. Let's see what happens. There's the bump. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call from the officials right there. Bump was before the travel and you can make the argument that the, the bump might have had something to do with the extra emphasis on the travel 15 foul against West Virginia there's the help Knight oh boy the running one-hander Brandon Knight lightning quick it's one thing to be quick and have that run down the floor like that and be able to go to the basket, but he kind of makes it so much more difficult on you because he extends his arm and can shoot it very softly at the same time. 23 for Brandon Knight. Mitchell, jumper, smooth-looking stroke. Casey Mitchell, he is a shooter and a weapon from the perimeter. A team high 14 points, and he does it all in 24 minutes, but he goes up and he goes down. But he's streaky. Let's see if he can find another shot in the West Virginia offense without tracking a shot and throwing them off. 48-47, Kentucky. We are coming up on the halfway point of this second half. Knight swings it. Miller, the drive, hanging short. Kalichla got his hands on it, and West Virginia controls the loose ball. The work being done in the middle of the floor. Pretty good job again defensively against Miller. Good recognition. Kalichla. He can shoot from out there, just slide in a little bit. Missoula leans in, and no call. Both Missoula went down and DeAndre Liggins. West Virginia able to get back defensively. Liggins flicks it out for Miller. And they're finding Knight better. Harrelson, strong to the bucket, and Kalichla 
with the board. In the defensive transition, West Virginia is really sending one, if not two, guys to make sure they slow down the ball when Knight has it. First miss of the day for Harrelson now. Six nice seven. look. Give and go. It's Missoula slipping to the rim. McPhillip not only passes the basketball, but he set himself up with a beautiful high screen. Bump Missoula's guy off, and then there's that other delay. Wait until your guy can cut to the basket. Missoula continues his fine play in the second half. And he comes to play in the NCAA tournament, a career high for Missoula. He's got 19 points, and it gives West Virginia a one-point lead. Here's Knight. Stutter step. Finds Lamb. Book it for three. Kevin Jones was out there defensively in a hurry. Gives you an idea of just how quickly Lamb can get it off, especially off a dribble bounce in the middle of the floor to set up the shooter. Six points now for the freshman from New York City. Here we go. He's Here we go. Oh, a chance at a four-point play. He is streaky in that one. Knight was there. Defenders were on top of him, but in Mitchell's mind, he's now thinking, you know what? I'm going to give this a little bit of a run and see what happens. Watch the screen. You're Knight hidden for a moment. That's all Mitchell needs. And if he gets hot, they better run a second guy at him. Well done, boy. He just went right off the back of the screen of the big fella again. Shoulder to shoulder. No room to go through on the high side. You bury a defender, and you look to bury a shot right after it. Suspended twice this season for violating team rules. He is very talented, Casey Mitchell. You just don't know what you're going to get game in, game out. And there have been family distractions not to get into it with him over the years, and he's just really, you root for a kid who's had the problems away from the court from a family standpoint, so you just want to see him come out and play but carefree and mind-free basketball. Senior from Savannah, Georgia. And now it's West Virginia in front, 53 to 51. Oh, oh, even Knight stopped. Oh, there's the whistle. <laughs> Did you hear the whistle? I didn't hear a whistle at first. Knight called for the carry. Yep. And everybody stopped for a moment. <laughs> yeah, what's going on there? Play on through the whistle, but finally I did hear it. And watch, he puts the air brakes on right now, but whoop, too late. Darius Miller will sit. Terrence Jones back in for Kentucky. We have 8.15 to play. West Virginia 53, Kentucky 51. First six minutes of this half, I thought was all Kentucky from a mental standpoint in scoring. West Virginia seems to have come back in terms of getting their continuity back. Oh, that's a moving screen. And Mitchell made the basket, but Kalichla called for the foul on the outside. That's number two on the sophomore big man. April 7th through the 10th, CBS Sports again proudly presents a tradition unlike any other. The Masters from historic Augusta National, right here on CBS. That shot went in, by the way, with Mitchell, too. It didn't count, but he's feeling it. Liggins to the outside. Knight, where's the help? Little shovel. Mitchell didn't need any. The block by Mitchell. Bryant almost coughed it up for West Virginia. Good hands by Jones and a regather by Bryant. Bryant, nice oh. to the rim. Remember the experience in the backcourt. I'm not so sure Bryant and Missoula are going to be rattled by the stage. They've been here before. They work well together, and they share the basketball. It is a 10-3 run for West Virginia and a timeout with 7.32 to play. The winner advances to the Sweet 16 in Newark. Mountaineers in front. Look at the game summary. West Virginia 55, Kentucky 51. Wildcats still hitting 50% of their shots, but now 5 of 14 from three-point territory. Joe Missoula, you've touched on the leadership and the experience in the backcourt with Missoula and Bryant. Brandon Knight has put up big numbers, 23 points. He's 9 of 19 from the field. Harrelson has been that secondary scorer, but they're not getting offense from Lamb or Miller or Jones like they've done throughout the season. They continue to switch on the perimeter as much as they can. There's Jones. Back in on Jones. And Terrence Jones, the short pop goes down. Hasn't been involved. And I'm sure John Calipari called that number out so he could get somebody else involved from a scoring perspective. But all Harrelson.
Clemson. It's been all night. And they need a third participant to step up scoring-wise. Kentucky has won 31 straight games when shooting at least 50% or at 51%. Mitchell hangs. And Kalichla got denied by the rim as he tried to grab it and stick it back. Oh, look at Harrison. He's wide open. So is Lamb. Corner jump. No. And Lincoln's up high for the offensive rebound. Reset nice for Kentucky. Cut. The cut. Knight extra feed. And the jam. It's Jones up high. Off the broken play. That's when it's most difficult to defend. And worked by Kentucky beautifully just then. Turns into just a scramble type play. Use your skill level to get to the rim. We are tied at 55 with 6.20 to go. Oh, Liggins going for the steal, and he knocked it over the scoring table. We get a timeout. The 4-5 matchup in the East Regional, and it's tight. To no one's surprise. You mentioned Bell, Ben Howell, and you mentioned Jamie Dixon. Those two guys, in terms of the way they have styles for Pitt, that'll be interesting. I think Wisconsin really has to rebound the ball well today. That's one of the things they didn't do real well. I think they were number 300 in the NCAA regular season stats this year. So important for them to rebound the basketball with their style. Tied at 55. The ball bounces out of bounds. West Virginia will hold on to it with 17 to shoot. We have 6-12 left in this second half. West Virginia with Thurman, Bryant, Mitchell, Jones, and Missoula out on the floor. Mitchell, pull up, pop. Rims out for three. Rebounded by Harrelson. He's joined by Knight, Lamb, Liggins, and Jones. From a shooter's perspective, Mitchell is still in the groove. Even though he just missed that shot, that was just almost down. So I have to believe he's still thinking, that should have gone down. I'm going to shoot it the next time I get a free look. He is now two of six from the field. Eight points for West Virginia. Kentucky... Try to take the lead under six minutes to play. You have to start going with the high screen here and get something going towards the basket. Knight, a three. Harrelson, another offensive rebound, goes back up. And Harrelson sticks with the play. He had Thurman down one-on-one -on, -one on the glass at 6'7", 235. Thurman was just not big enough to handle 275 pounds and move him around. Harrelson continues to be as good as any Kentucky player in the two-game set. 6-0 run for Kentucky. Foul called. Knight goes down as Thurman was trying to set the screen. Look at the, look at the work that's done here in the glass. He misses the easier one right there, but now he makes the more difficult one with people bunch, pumping into him, hitting him off the blocks a little bit. Terrific effort there by Harrelson. 15 points, 8 rebounds. His dad dug in the stands with Kentucky in front by 2. Third personal against Kentucky point guard Brandon Knight. 23 points for Knight to lead all scores. You know, Brian is being defended by Knight right now. He's smart enough to possibly try an isolation move and attack Knight one-on-one -on -one if he gets the opportunity, knowing that he has the three fouls. West Virginia, 24th NCAA tournament appearance, fourth in a row. They trail Kentucky by two. We come up on five minutes left. Mitchell for the tie. Rims out. And the rebound snared by Jones for Kentucky. And Bob Huggins now has to make a decision. Does he want to stay with Mitchell or not? I think he's going to the bench. Flowers just made his way towards the scorer's table. Here's Liggins, high screen from Harrelson. Into the hands of Knight. Nice. Get it down low. Yeah, big mismatch. Good kick out. Ball movement. Miller takes the leaning jumper. It doesn't go. And Mitchell with a snatch. Gets it ahead. Oh. And off the ricochet. Last touch, Bryant. Kentucky gets it back. D.J. Karstensen, one official, did not see it. And it's right in front of us. It looks like it came off his foot, so good call from the official. Jerry Pollard was on the other side and made the call. Down to four and a half remaining here in Tampa. 57 to 55, Kentucky. Liggins hands it off for Knight. Half-court set for the Wildcats. Flowers is back in for the Mountaineers. A switch. There's Jones one-on-one. -on -one. From the perimeter, Miller. Got it. A three. Going to give credit to Jones also. The left.
Lengthy found a way to get himself strongly going to the middle of the floor with his left hand and then kicked it out with a driving kick. Mazula rejected and a foul called. Liggins bouncing around. Can't believe it. John Calipari squad. First points of the day for the junior Darius Miller and big ones for Kentucky. Kentucky leads West Virginia by five. Let's turn back the clock. A year ago, the 2010 regional final in Syracuse, Kentucky began the game 0 of 20 from three-point range. The Mountaineers went 10 of 23 from three-point territory. Joe Missoula had 17 points. West Virginia, a 73 to 66 win to advance to the final four. A lot of runs here this afternoon here in Tampa, Kentucky. 13 to 4 West Virginia answered 22 to 7 then Kentucky goes on an 11-0 run West Virginia 10-3 run and now Kentucky on a 9-0 run West Virginia had 41 points in the first half Jimmy they have scored 14 in this second half with 357 to go and Missoula missing on the first attempt yeah trying to stop this run at the free throw line if you can I wouldn't be surprised at some point to see an extended 1-3-1 defense that West Virginia threw at Clemson the other day. He's settling back into the zone right now again. And there might Another. be an issue on the floor once again. They yep. do play hockey in this arena. Yep. It's very warm here, so you're not sure how that affects the conditions. There was an issue here in the NBA preseason mm -hmm. where a game had to actually be canceled. Obviously, that has not been an issue so far in Tampa over the last couple yeah. of days. It was Orlando against Miami. And that had to do with the cleaning chemicals that they put on the floor that just really had a slippery touch to it. So we resume with 350 to play. Kentucky 60, West Virginia 56. And it's a matchup, but Bryant is going to try to stay as much as he can. Jones has a mismatch with Bryant. Yeah. And it's Flowers on night. They take him down low. Harrelson looking for the high low to Jones. Harrelson the drive. And he loses the basketball out of bounds. They had the right idea just then, Kentucky, because Harrelson knew that Jones was going to have Bryant down on the blocks one on one, just couldn't find them. A little anxiety for Dad. The 108th year of basketball for both of these programs. The 19th all-time meeting, Kentucky 13-5 against West Virginia over the years. But as mentioned, Huggins 8-1 head-to-head -head against Calipari. Try to go off a screen if you can and try to drag somebody with you and hit the shooters. Missoula slicing to the rim. And a foul called. It's going the other way. Missoula, number three. And yeah, Liggins again, a defensive stand here. He goes right. Everybody's playing him to the left. There's a little bump. Nope. And Liggins takes the shot. Second guy in, established his footwork, and got from underneath the basket. Sixty to fifty-six. Kentucky leading West Virginia. Three sixteen to play. Joe Missoula has put up a career high 20 points just got called for his third personal foul and They are toweling down the baseline area underneath the basket on West Virginia's bench side Jones triggers in for night Four point lead for Kentucky Trying to advance to the Sweet 16. Winner here will move on to Newark to take on the survivor of the Ohio State George Mason game. That's the basic overplay when it comes to your side. And trying to keep it away from Knight as much as possible. Under three minutes to play. Knight mismatch with Thurlman. Little bump from Flowers. No call. Kick out. Miller a three. No good. And Jones able to save. Harrelson is there, and he draws the foul. Tough sequence for West Virginia. They were in position to come up with a defensive board. Jones really moving his feet well to get to that ball because it really initially was not his rebound, but the work he did on the glass to go after it and help his teammate get to the free throw line. Second foul on Truck Bryant. 
Harrelson is one of three from the line today. The only two misses for Kentucky so far. Kentucky six of eight. Yep, they have a short one. Keep those shoulders rolling towards the basket. Part of your follow through. He's been so efficient on the offensive end. 13 of 17 combining the game against Princeton and this one against West Virginia. So important for West Virginia right now. It's a little basics. Make sure you block out. Keep everybody off the glass. Rims out. Well, they blocked out. Somebody has to go get the ball. I forgot to mention that part, right? Just happened to be Joe Missoula <laughs> for West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't third guy in. Timeout. Huggins, 2.37 to play. Four-point game. Kentucky in front, 60-56, to 56, as we check in with David Aldridge. Well, guys, you may have noticed Joe Mazzulla limping a little bit throughout the second half. He cramped in the first half, but that's not the issue. The issue is, in the first half, he fell hard on a drive, and his back has been tightening up for most of the second half. He's playing through it, but he clearly may not have quite the jump and the bump that he had in the first half, Ian. Well, David, he brings so much intensity and the leadership right. skills. Obviously, he's going to be out there on the floor. We know that. That has to go back to that. Remember that play when he drove to the basket, was in the air and got bumped, yep. landed on his back, and he came down like a ton of bricks? Has to be bothering him. You know what? It's a good call, David. He is struggling a little bit. Mitchell. A tough shot. Yep. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a foul with a reach in. Kentucky closing in defensively on Mitchell. Yeah, the scouting report is Mitchell touches it. Oftentimes, he shoots it. Right. And Kentucky played right into it defensively. Yeah, that's where their length comes in, down deep in particular. And watch the grab. There it was. Good call from the officials. Throw him in with the grab. So that is number four on Cam Thurlman. And Mitchell is going to sit down for West Virginia. Jones at the free throw line. And Harrelson heads to the Kentucky bench. He took a shot. Uh, just above the left eye. Right by his teammate, yep. right? It's Liggins. Liggins, yeah. So they'll work on Josh Harrelson as Jones knocks down the free throw. Harrelson, 15 points, 8 rebounds for Kentucky. Jones at the line where he's 3 of 3, the SEC Freshman of the Year. Missed it. 61-56. We have 2.20 to play here in Tampa. Yeah, Bob Huggins screaming for a timeout. He wants to get Johnny West into this game because he thinks he needs a three. Game reset, a tight one here in Tampa. West Virginia has only one timeout remaining, 19 fouls against the Mountaineers. And Kentucky in much better shape with three timeouts and 16 fouls. Yeah, you may ask why the timeout there. He wants to get Johnny West, and you see Harrelson getting tended to in terms of that little cut right below the uh, the eyebrow there. It didn't look like a whole lot. And may be able to get bounce back into this game. But Bob Huggins thinking the timeout is worth getting Johnny West into this basketball game to see if he can get a shot off. West has not played here today. Ooh. And he won't get a shot off. Liggins extends out. Thurman was there. Dump it down low. Jones turning. Jones. He connects on the baseline. And West Virginia has cut the Kentucky lead to three with 2.02 left. And a timeout call. Yeah, West comes right back with the terrific entry pass to the post. West Virginia not going away yet. Game reset, Kentucky 61, West Virginia 58. Possession arrow belongs to Kentucky, and West Virginia has used its final timeout. We know when the Mountaineers are involved, you're going to have physical play. That's just part of the deal. And that's the style that they play, and that's the style the Big East does. And Kentucky kind of answered because both teams are going after one another all afternoon, so the physical play has been terrific to watch. And just bouncing one another, and Harrelson took his shot ironically from his own teammate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we told you Huggins is 8-1 against John Calipari. That lone win for Calipari came in 2003 when Memphis defeated Cincinnati. Two minutes to play. 61-58, Kentucky. Huggins wanted to make sure his team knew what kind of defense they're supposed to play at that two-minute mark. He's hoping that he can make a run and have Calipari burn one of his timeouts. Kentucky still with the three. 
Jones off the dribble. Little bump and a foul called as Jones was looking to create on his own. Second personal on Kevin Jones of West Virginia. And that is the 10th team foul on the Mountaineers. So two free throws for the freshman Terrence Jones. Short. Found the right guy. Nine points for Jones. Seven in the second half as Johnny West, the son of the legendary Jerry West, checks back into the game. Hey, and how about how about the confidence that West has in his shot and Huggins has in him to put him in this situation? We worked the game at Notre Dame at West Virginia, and he had a big shot there. They all have confidence in him. One out of two for Jones, 62-58. Kentucky, Arizona, the drive. Bryant, pump fake. That's a three. Rims it. And rebounded by Liggins for Kentucky with a minute 20 to go. Well, they don't have to foul right now. Wildcats settle in. Big Blue Nation but they, on their feet. Yeah, they definitely need to stop West Virginia right here, though. 101 left. And a foul call with 14 oh. seconds left on the shot clock. Well, that was way out on the floor, too. It's Truck Bryant called on the personal. Obviously, if the plan is to foul. Foul much earlier to conserve time. Yeah, try to keep the ball away from him. There's the little grab, and Knight does a little shoulder and head fake. And Knight drops in the first free throw. Extending the Kentucky lead, 63-58. to 101 left on the clock. Harrelson will sit down, and Deron Lamb checks in. Thinking about guarding the three. Second free throw for Knight. 24 points. And attack on one more. And pick up a little token defense here. Under a minute to play. Six-point lead for Kentucky. Bryant against Knight. Mountaineers aren't in a rush here. Looping feed. West, a three. Air ball. And it's rebounded by Liggins. Kentucky in control. 42 seconds to play. Yeah, they got to come up with the fouls. And Bryant fouls Knight out near midcourt. West had an open shot for a second, but Jones closed so quickly on this attempt from the corner. You take a look right here. Here's the shooter. Here's the defender. Watch how fast. It's a screen set over the top. See how quickly he got out to the corner. That's pretty good action for a big guy at 6'8". And there's the aggressive foul just to stop the clock. And Knight missing on the first free throw. And you talk about the confidence that Huggins has in West. There's no doubt about it. We've seen it throughout the season. The one issue is that West had not played literally the entire yeah. game until the waning moments of this second half. That's why it's, it's confidence, but it's difficult. I give Johnny West credit for it because it's tough to get the wheels moving and know that you're supposed to shoot it, too. Knight has matched his career high with 26. Bryant the drive. Foul called. Jones blocked it. And Bryant is going to the free throw line with 31.7 left. Knight with a little bit of the body bump. Now West Virginia with John Calipari in the driver's seat right now have to hit their free throws, scramble quickly on defense, but if you don't have an instant steal at the defensive end of the floor, go with the steal foul concept. There's just not enough time on the clock to fiddle around and try to get too long a double team. Bryant's an 82% shooter. It rims in. That was the fourth personal foul against Brandon Knight. And now Flowers will come on, replacing West for West Virginia. Bryant trying to cut it to five. Sixty-five to sixty, Kentucky. Thirty-one point seven left on the clock. They got a foul. Good foul. They do. Only a second comes off, and Knight will head back to the free throw line where he shoots it at seventy-nine percent. The problem, though, is Bryant just picked up his fifth foul. John Calipari's wife. Ellen Calipari, 
She has lived through so many of these <laughs> games. John is in his 19th year as a head coach in college basketball and obviously the stint with the New Jersey Nets two and a half years in the NBA. So that's it for Bryant. 15 points. The Brooklyn native will have to sit down with 30.7. And now the Mountaineers are hoping that Kentucky misses some free throws. <laughs> Looking over at the Kentucky bench and John Calipari's like saying to the officials, let's go, let's get them back on the floor. He wants to get this thing moving along. Well, one way to beat the strategy that West Virginia's trying with the fouls, get to the free throw line and make them. Knight knocks it down, ranked by many the number one high school recruit. Knight, Lamb, and Jones were at the McDonald's All-American game last year during the Kentucky-West Virginia game in Columbus, Ohio, and they all watched the game. Except Lamb admitted he was playing some video games, so he didn't watch the whole thing. It's all right. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. A career high for the freshman, Brandon Knight. 28 points, and it gives Kentucky a seven-point lead. And West Virginia has to get busy right now. There's not enough time to fiddle around. Get your first get. Oh, that works. Mazula, trip. And it's Liggins out front. If I were Liggins just then, I would not have looked over at my coach just then. Because that's what Cal, you see that look on Cal's face and that expression? Those are the ones as a play instinctively you look the other way, like look into the stands or find something else to distract yourself. You don't want to look after you made a mistake like that. Just avoid eye contact <laughs> exactly. entirely. All the way. Missoula to the free throw line, one and one, 18 foul against Kentucky. Missoula, 67% shooter, fifth year senior trying to extend his collegiate career. West Virginia in a hole. Rims out. And it's no foul. 22.2 left. Terrence Jones will head to the line. And Kentucky fans beginning to celebrate. Bob Wiggins, Kentucky super fan, finally allowing himself a chance to <laughs> smile. That's incredible, isn't it, that number of games? 15.03. Terrence Jones. Gets the roll. 68 to 60. That's right, Bob. Give Terrence Jones one more on the scorecard. Ellen Calipari can exhale. 68 to 60. 22.2 remaining. Kentucky has outscored West Virginia 35 to 19 in the second half. Nine to 60, Kentucky. Missoula hands off for Mitchell. Pump fake and a three, bottom. West Virginia has no timeouts left. 13.4 remaining on the clock. Yeah, they're just looking for a miracle right now and some missed free throws. And a foul called against Missoula. Isn't it funny how the guys with the confidence, Knight in this case, finds a way with his quickness to get to the basketball to make sure the game is on his shoulders like the Princeton game? West Virginia went to the Final Four last year. The horrific injury, Deshaun Butler in the national semifinal game against Duke. They finished tied for sixth in the Big East this season with Cincinnati at 11-7. Bob Huggins, his team got an 84-76 win over Clemson on Thursday afternoon, but it's going to end here in Tampa against Kentucky. 71 to 63, 30 points for the freshman night. Mitchell's three won't go, knocked up in the air. Liggins has got it. Kentucky will dribble out the clock. The young Kentucky Wildcats are headed to the Sweet 16 in Newark. Long time friends, Calipari and Huggins. This one belongs to John Calipari and the Wildcats. 71 to 63. Kentucky moves on. Well, one of the things I thought was great for Kentucky was the way the youngsters, they got rattled a little bit in that first half, especially the end of the first half. They regrouped and showed that they have grown a little bit in a short period of time. And Knight just absolutely fabulous all game long. 
71-63, Kentucky gets the win over West Virginia. Kentucky moves on to Newark, Ohio State, and George Mason. The winner of that one will meet Kentucky next week. For Jim Spinarkle, David Aldridge, this is Ian Eagle coming up. It's UCLA and Florida. We'll send you to our New York studio after these messages.